Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for this um, this plan with me, it's gonna be for the month of September. I cannot believe September is already here. It's almost fall and I'm excited for it because that means Christmas is just around the corner. Uh, but anyways, um, as you guys can tell by the many post-it notes that I left on my passion planner for this month, there is a lot going on for my family. And um, quick planner tip, use post-it notes if you're very forgetful and just stick them in there. Um, I keep some post-its or I started to keep um, post-its at the back of my passion planner. There's a little pocket in the back because it's just been super helpful. One of the few changes that my family is going through right now is um, my husband is now getting paid every week. He's currently on disability leave from his work because he got injured and we were or he was getting paid bi-weekly and now he's receiving a check every week. He opted out of the direct deposit onto his card um, because when he was on his, I think when my second son was born, he went on his family leave and there were just some issues with it getting on his card or getting money out of it or something like that. But um, as you, if you guys follow my budget with me videos as well, I will be talking about that in my budget recap for August. The timing of my husband's injury has been both kind of good and bad. I would say it's good because we've been able to spend more time with him at home. He does work a lot of overtime, so um, we don't get to see him too often or for not like a long period of time. He's not gone like weeks and stuff like that, but just works really long hours. Um, but we are going on a big family trip. We're going to the Philippines and uh, leaving in about two weeks. And we're going to be there for about 11 days, 10, 11 days. And I just hope that he gets better soon. He's currently wearing a boot right now to kind of help um, with his foot injury. And um, we're going to see two doctors coming up soon. Um, this coming Tuesday and Wednesday. And... Um, we'll see how you know how he's doing. He, he's walking pretty good, but he only walks when he has um, his boot on. And um, I don't know. I'm just worried about him and when we go on our trip because I want him to be able to enjoy. It'll be his first first time back in the Philippines since he was five, and he's 34, so it's been a while since he's been to the Philippines. And kind of excited and nervous at the same time that my two kids one is six one is two it's gonna be their first time there second plane ride and of course the second plane ride is gonna be like 14 hours long but um, hoping that it goes smoothly I've been kind of binge watching or watching tips on how to fly with kids on YouTube so um, if you guys have any tips uh, please let me know down in the comments below um, it is a 14 hour flight we did decide to do the direct flight so um, praying that it goes smoothly and it is a nighttime flight so hopefully it just works out with their um, with their sleep schedule um, what else is going on this week oh and speaking of being gone we also had to make sure we tell my son's teacher um, I emailed her right away as soon as we found out who the teacher was um, and he has a independent contract it's nothing like too crazy big a deal it's just making sure he's still reading every day 15 20 minutes and kind of telling us you know summarizing this, the book for me um, he's in first grade so I don't think you know there's anything really too difficult and then he just has to work on math um, writing down all the numbers um, so we got to make sure we just bring all his supplies um, that we need while we're there and um, what else um, oh we also I signed up my two-year-old for a a library activity you had to it's free you just ha I just had to register for it it's for like it's called um, preschool readiness so it's a little bit more I'm assuming um, a little bit more um, I would say in depth or I don't know compared to the, the regular toddler times I'm not sure but it's our first time so that starts next week and we're also still gonna go try and do toddler time um, 
as well so he has two library activities a week they're free so why not go and that way he can material can interact with other kids and um he's not in preschool or daycare or anything and the only kids the only time he interacts with kids is when we're at a family party but they're not really around his age or um when we're at the park he wants to play he actually wants to play with other kids um, and he gets so happy when we drop off my um, my six-year-old to school. So he l apparently likes to be around kids, which is good. Um, oh, and here I am trying to figure out my color coding. And I did write down some notes on the back of this uh, piece of paper. I think it was like uh, a calendar, a uh, desk calendar uh, kind of pad that I got from um, the Target. I wouldn't say dollar spot because it wasn't a dollar. I think it was like two bucks. Um, they're bullseye spot. But I still do try to color code. And every time I color code, I feel like the colors change. And I always try to figure out what colors are what. So the yellow right now is for, um, for kids. And purple seems to always be color coded for fun. Um, and I like to use red for bills because um it's just reminds me it's you know money that has to be taken out of our account <laughs> um and oh speaking of money with our paydays um the one thing that does suck is we will be receiving a check while we are away um so we won't get to deposit it hopefully there'll be two checks i think um hopefully we receive one on Friday before we leave because lately we've been receiving it on a Saturday and we won't be here um, and we just got to make sure our checks just covers our bills and um, I'm not used to budgeting every week so it's been kind of a change for me trying to make sure we save part of you know one paycheck to roll over to the next but I'm just so happy that he's still getting paid because it would completely deplete our emergency fund. We still haven't dipped into it. Um, and I really don't want to because I'm, you know, it's close, it's pretty much at a thousand dollars right now and I don't wanna I don't want I don't wanna use it unless we absolutely need to. So what else is going on for this month? Oh, I actually started, if you guys have been watching my plan with me, especially my monthly one, I started a workout last month. It was a size workout with Shanti. I'm starting a new one because that one ended. It was so much fun, by the way. Um, I'm starting the T20 um, with Shanti again. And that one is for six weeks every day for 20 minutes. I can commit to at least 20 minutes. But it's today's day six and um, totally kicking my butt. 20 minutes but it's 20 minutes of hard work I do have Beachbody on demand which allows me to I have the app on my phone and I, I can log on onto my laptop as well and when I'm at home I usually just Chromecast it to my TV but it will allow me to continue my workouts even though we're on vacation um, I'm gonna still try to keep up with my routine which is to get my workouts in before 6 I'm not sure how our days are going to go in the Philippines. I am going to be visiting family since I haven't seen them since 2005. So I don't know what they got planned. My mom's actually going with us and she's been kind of planning things. And, you know, we've been, my husband and I, or I've been telling her what we want to go do. And she's been kind of, her and um, my aunts have been kind of talking about it in the Philippines. So, so excited for it. But anyways, no excuses. Still working out um, when we're on vacation. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.